If you don't have installed the micro SD card in your Burbos camera, or there's no micro SD card supported, you still can record the camera to the, to the PC by using this PC software. Just remember, we need the camera live streaming to the software before we can save the recording file to the computer. So now we're getting a live. Then we click the record icon. Now the software just instruct us to set the disk to save the file. This only need to do for the first time. You click yes. Here we can choose the disk to keep the recording file. So it's better not to using the system disk. Otherwise you may occupy the space and just make your PC doesn't have enough space for the system running. Okay, now we're using the disk C. We click apply. It's going to take a few few seconds. Alright, now we go back to the live. Then we click the recording icon again. Now the software starts recording the file to the PC computer. Let's just wait for a few seconds. If we need stop, then we click the icon again. Now the record is complete. Alright, we go to the home, we find the playback. Here we need to mark the name to select the camera we plan to play back. One thing important we can see the device and logo. The device, the software will try to search and play back the file on your micro SD card in the robot's camera. So here we need to choose local. We will try to search the file in this PC computer. And we click search. Now this is a recording file saving by this PC computer. And we click one of the file to play. Alright. Just want to remind the recording file, you can, you can click this flag to go to the folder to find the file. You see the file is saving as H.265 format, which is not compatible with most of the player. So the software also can record the file to AVI format. In this case, we need to make sure the camera is set to H.264 compression. So now let's go to the compression setting of the camera. Uh, we go to the encode config. Here you can see we are using the H.265. So the, the file will be saved as H.265. And if you want to use the AVR format, you can change to H.264. But the good thing is we also have the converter, which can convert the H.265 to MP4 format, which is uh, friendly to most of the players. Alright, that's all. Thanks for watching.